I mean, it's something else, isn't it, that an African team got as far this time around and almost, almost got to a final. Yeah. I mean, you have to say that their achievement and the teams that they put out was remarkable. And, of course, going into a game against the French, disadvantaged by the loss of key players prior to the game and during the game would have not helped their cause. A goalkeeper that makes a very good save. Yeah. Um, that, yeah. you know, keeps France 1-0 up are all component parts. But... When you listen to the manager after the game talking about it, it wasn't the tactics, it wasn't the players' application or ability to overcome France, it was the sheer lack of physicality that they had left in them to be able to compete with the depletion of the squad. And people will say, well, so France were depleted before the tournament. Mm. But I think we're talking about depth. You know, there's no argument that the Moroccan depth of squad would be anywhere near as strong as the French depth, irrespective of they've lost N'Golo and... Uh, Paul Pogba and Karim Benzema, yeah. there was still a difference in perception and quality of player between the two ta- between the two nations. I think the Moroccans can take an inordinate amount of pride from this tournament. I mean, you know, tragically, I got to listen to one of their um, one of the Sky guys do an interview with someone called Dizzy Dross, which I thought was <laughs> the most fitting of names for a rapper, um, t- talking about his right. ambitions for the tournament and picking the results. But listen, they can come away with this tournament with a huge amount of pride and, and, and self-respect and value in their football, and it will open people's eyes to different continents and what they can achieve on the world stage. So I think it's actually been quite a compelling tournament, even from that point of view. Yeah. So the Moroccans come away having been, been beaten by the French. We've got the final that lots of people might have anticipated from the outset, with the exception of the Brazilians not making the mix. Um, and I think that Morocco now should lead, should should try to build upon this as a launch sequence yes, to stabilise their international football and to put more value into their football for, on the world stage. Well, that's right. Joe Matip of Liverpool actually talks about Moroccan's um, incredible effort. When you hear from him later on this morning, I'll give you a better idea very shortly of when we're going to play that out. He was talking to me uh, from a shady area of his hotel over in Dubai where Liverpool right. have been during this World Cup break. Shady? As in what? Sort as in, sort of in the various characters around him? No, not the various characters. Right. It, it was in the shade, I should say. Uh, what about Didier Deschamps? So the French now on the brink of winning this thing. Uh, I just d- want to pair back, Jim, because we're very adept at pointing out things that happen in our football. I mean, there was lots of riots and situations going on in and around France yesterday evening about Moroccans that were rioting in the streets. So when ha- these things happen in our football and p- fans don't behave in the greatest of fashions, of course, there was some stuff going on with Moroccan fans and French yep. fans in Montpellier and places like that that we unrest. do need to shine uh, unrest that we do need to shine a light on because we're very good at shining a light on what happens when we make mistakes. No, absolutely, it's, it's more than. Rest relevant to mention that mm. um, obviously um, obviously emotions were running high and I'm sure that some of them would take to the streets in, in, in not in not the right kind of Absolutely. way on Didier Deschamps Simon he's aiming to become the second manager in yeah. history to win remarkable. consecutive World Cups it is remarkable it's we remarkable. haven't seen this since 1962 yeah. when Brazil did it so what about if you if you are an owner in the Premier League now are you looking at Deschamps thinking uh huh well, yeah he could do as a job he's only 54 he's only 54 And you could make the same argument about Wackham Lowe. But the difference between these guys and our guy is these guys had quite illustrious club management careers where they managed some of the biggest clubs. They had win records that would stack up there with the best. In Deschamps' Deschamps case, you're looking at Monaco, Juventus and Marseille and having win records that would make him very, very appealing to... uh, uh, Premier League football clubs from the point of view of having been uh, a, a, you know, a very successful club manager. Yeah, yeah. You look at Joachim Lowe, he's the same. They've all got 50, 60% win records. Our boy's got a 29% win record as a domestic manager at Middlesbrough. And then you look at it and say, well, actually, here's the most compelling part of it. They won things for their national sides. Right. So with that in mind... He is a winner. The difference yeah. is... He's is, been out of the domestic game for 10 years. And that's years. the question. That's, yeah. the, that's, that's the point where you start to say, can I, can I get a route back for that in my mind? Yeah. Um, can I suggest that ultimately someone that's been managing a French national side for 10 years with a different skill set, whole different set of applications required, and someone that managed the German side for 15 years that have been entranced in international football, losing the discipline and the routine of domestic football, yeah. would then be a compelling prospect for... A domestic side. I think, again, to use an overused expression, they should be in the thinking and in the conversation if a, if a vacancy comes for a significant Premier League side and Didier Deschamps decides his future is no longer to be the national team manager 
Absolutely. He guy's, should be in there. guy's got a 65% win record with Juventus. Exactly. Well, the guy's got a 67% win record with France. These guys win. Yeah. That's, that's a winner. And a winner's a winner. Absolutely. And he's, he's shown that as a player yeah. he was, and yeah. now as a manager, he certainly is. And if he does it again on Sunday, then who's to say the Premier League might not beckon for Didier Deschamps? 